it is time, it is time to brew your best beer. Brought to you by Beer Grains Supply Company, BrewTubers Online Brewers Club, Brew UK, Panhead Brewery, Tanner Ritchie, Finney's Homebrew Emporium, Brig Selve, Hackney Brewery, Hashigo Saki, Mangrove Jacks, Sprig and Fern Tavern, Yakima Valley Hops. All right, so tonight, here we go. Yet another 2014 SJ Pour Challenge beer review. Tonight, I'm doing the Black Ruby Porter. This one comes in from DA183NO. It's got uh, Goldens and Fuggle Hops, and it was uh, for yeast. It was White Lab 005, I believe. He listed it as the British Ale Yeast. It's the same yeast that I actually just used in my uh, Brown Ale. So I did taste that earlier today, and I thought it did a really nice job. So looking forward to cracking into the porter, see how it does. So. Let's go ahead, get the pour, and I'll tell you what I think. Alright, so here we go. Brewtubers Glass, another gold sponsor of the challenge. And so this beer ranks in at, I believe it's 5.2% and somewhere between 43 and 44 IBUs. So let's go ahead, get the pour. Looking pretty good. Good carbonation. There, we'll leave it at that. It's got real good carbonation. It's got a pretty thin head there at the top, about a quarter finger. You can see it. But, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and see how it smells. It's got a nice light malty aroma just a hint of roastedness I kinda really do get those noble hops the um, the goldens and the fuggles uh, smells really good uh, smells really inviting no off uh, aroma whatsoever intensity you know scale from 1 to 10 it's pretty light it's about a 2 or a 3 Maybe a three. Maybe about three, three and a half. But it does smell good. Um, smells like a nice genuine porter. So this is a brown porter. So let's go ahead and get into it. So DA183NO. Cheers to you, sir. Thank you very much. Let's give it a whirl. All right nice it's got a really nice taste to it um, I'm getting a hint of I'm getting the, more of the hints of the roastiness is there it's got a great malty uh, backbone to it it's not overpowering it's it's right sort of uh, medium light to medium it's very nice uh, well balanced um, No hints of alcohol. Um, again, it's just a nice, light, pleasant roastiness. Good maltiness. It's clean. Um, <clears throat> very, 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 very light bitterness to it. Um, and then the finish is semi-dry so it's it's not uh, dry it's you know there's still a bit of sweetness in there which I like which is good so light on the hop aroma I get that sort of earthiness and the spiciness and a hint of floral also into the in the flavor and then uh, then I get that just nice malty roastiness 
It's very nice and light. It's just, it's a very pleasant porter. Mouthfeel on this thing is, uh, it's like a medium light. Texture is medium. Um, <clears throat> the finish is semi sweet, but very clean. Nice, good taste and uh, aftertaste. It's very nice. This is a very nice beer. I really enjoy it. Um, thanks a lot, DA183NO. Um, this is a really fantastic porter. This is this is store bought quality porter. This is very nice. I've had some that were worse that I've paid for. Very nice job. Thank you very much. Cheers again. Cheers.